So the moment we've all been waiting for is to listen to JC. Uh, we're going to mm -hmm. hand it off to JC to talk about uh, something that came up with the way that um, our logic behind the rounded corners in Rive works. So I will just, yeah, I'll let him talk about that. Okay, let me share the screen. Here and here. Okay, and um, yeah, um, the thing is, uh, recently uh, we changed the logic of the wrong corner uh, to make uh, the behavior more predictable uh, and fix some uh, problems we had in the past. So here uh, I want to show you how it works before the wrong corner. In this case, uh, when uh, you change the size of the this square, the round corner, in one point uh, mix together and create this weird shape. And sometimes when you uh, uh, change the size of the form more, uh, sometimes the shape disappear. This is one of the problems we had in the past. So uh, now, Now, uh, the round corner uh, works like this. When you change the side, uh, the round corner uh, adapts to the size in this way. So never we have this weird curve in the corners. We never lose uh, the curve. It's more easy, more clean when you create something. Um, something you need to uh, keep in your mind is that when you edit the vertex, for example, when you add a new vertex here, you can see how the round corner changes. In this case, it's because uh, this vertex has the handles, and the handles depends of the handles. Uh, you change the uh, the curve, so work as a limit for the curve. In this case, if you use a simple uh, vertex, the round corners uh, go back to the original. But when you move the vertex, you can see how it changes the curve. The other thing is uh, to keep uh, this curve, for example, one thing you can do now with the new logic is flat this curve using the uh, convert radial corners. In this case, uh, you have these uh, vertex and handles. And in this way, when you move uh, the vertex, the uh, curve keep in the same way. So this is something that you need to keep in your mind when you use the rock corner now. But because we change this, uh, it's possible, uh, depending how you use the wrong corner, it's possible that in all files, the curve are different now. Maybe change, for example, if you had something like this in an old file with this curve, maybe when you open the file now, you find that the curve now is different. It's like this, and this is because the logic is different because this vertex uh, 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 work as a limit for the curve. Uh, in this case, uh, what you need to do is uh, uh, remove this vertex and create a new curve. Uh, for example, in this case, one thing you can do is uh, move uh, this vertex. Oops. Oops. Move this vertex like this, for example, in this position, where the curve don't change more. And uh, take these two vertex and flat the curve. And in this way, you can remove this vertex and you have something that you have before. So depend how you use the curve in these old files, uh, you can find some change. And the thing is you need to uh, edit all these vertex. Other thing you need to uh, know is it's possible that because of this chain is possible that what you see in the editor is different than what you see in the run times. So for this demo, I make a little animation. So simple, but it's fun. Um, to fix this, in this case, is because this is the new logic, this is the new shape. And the run times is the old run time. So you, you see the old logic of the uh, of the wrong corner. So the only you need to do is uh, 
update the uh, the runtime and yes, that's it. Yeah, change the the round corner. So I want to do this again. You update the runtimes and that's it. Now uh, you can see the same. Okay. Now uh, the other thing I want to show you is this. Uh, one thing important um, or one one use of the round corner uh, is one case. Sorry, one case uh, that you need this curve, for example, is when you uh, create uh, legs or arms and you use the wrong corner as a knee or elbow. For example, in this example, in this example, uh, when I move this uh, arm, for example, I use the wrong corner to uh, make the form of the of the elbow. So. Here you can see that I have 50 of the value. But uh, maybe what we want is that this curve work, uh, work from here to here, not only this part, all this part. And now with this new logic, I can do that. So if I increase this value, you can see that the curve don't move much. So in this case, I can use this wrong corner. So for that, I want to show you how you can create a control to edit this curve uh, where you want. So in this case, I'm going to duplicate this arm here. And the first thing I'm going to do is, is this, okay. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new bond in the same direction of these bonds and use this bond uh, as a control. So I'm going to move this bond in the position I need, that is the uh, knee or the elbow, this part. And now uh, I'm going to uh, bind this bond to the shape. So I'm going to select the shape here, here, and Oops, it's here. And I'm going to remove this bone and wait all the bones again. This, the second and the third is this. Oops, second and the new one that is here. Okay. And now uh, this vertex is for the blue, this vertex is for the yellow, and here, I'm going to remove the this uh, wrong corner. I'm going to use a mirror vertex with the handles and increase the length. Maybe something like this. And oops. And this vertex and handles are here. I'm going to wait with this new button. Okay. So now. When I move this bone here, you can see that I have the curve, but the curve is in this part, not in the middle. Uh, that is uh, what I want. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, select this bone. That is the new. I'm going to rename this control. This. And the other thing, sorry, the other thing is when I move this bone, Oops. When I move this bone, the curve is here, not here. I won't hear the curve. And the other thing is when I move this bone, the new bone is here. What I need is that this bone follow this. So I'm going to move this bone and nest to this so here. So this way, when I move this bone, father, all the system move together. Okay, the other thing is when I move this, what I need is that this bone uh, use the same rotation of this. And for that, I'm going to use a constraint, the rotation constraint, and use as a target this bone here. So now the control follow this bone. But now the problem is that the curve is in this part. What I need is the curve 
in the middle. So I'm going to do is in the control, in the constraint, I'm going to change the strength to 50. So this way, this bone always is in the middle of the rotation of this. And in this way, the curve is in the middle of all these systems. So when I move this bone, you can see how the curve works. And the other thing is now I can select this bone and change the scale to make this curve more uh, small or more bigger. So if I uh, work with the arm, for example, this can be the elbow. For example, in one point, maybe uh, this character is more cartoony. In one point, the arm changes like this and have more um, cartoony arm, for example. So this is the this is one way to to uh, to create something like this. A control to uh, make this. And um, this example is other that you can use. For example, uh, you can move this control here. You can move. Oops, what is here? You can move this control here. And using the same system, you can see here that I have this bone to change this. You can rotate and change this curve. You can scale, and you can make different things you want. So it's something interesting that you can use in your animation to improve the the curve. I create uh, uh, different things, and that's it. This is all about round corners.